The only thing we got to worry about now is rattlesnakes and uh, what else? Giant or scorpions, something like that. Uh, coming over here to what is Sacred Mountain, which is supposed to have some ruins on the top of this. The bad thing was I left the battery in the car for the Canon camera, so hopefully this comes out good. I can't believe that. Dude. Twice. Not one time, but twice he's done it already. I'm not sure if this was a smart uh, climb. Sun's getting hotter. Bees are swarming. Ants are, Ants are everywhere. Yeah. Wind's blowing, so you probably can't even hear this video. Oh, is that the top though? At this point, the wind was blowing so strong, I could barely hold the GoPro straight. And this, oh, there's pottery all over the place. I recommend you not wearing shorts if you're going to do something like this though. Not a really good idea. Okay, so we made it to the top of Sacred Mountain. There's a lot of history going on up here. Not far from the Bar V Heritage Site are the fallen remains of a 50 to 60 room Pueblo with a classic Holcomb style ball court at its base. There are three room blocks of about 20 rooms each on three corners of the butte, with the southwest corner exposed to form a plaza. Walking around the top, I found numerous grinding stones. Of all the ancient sites I visited so far, this one had the largest pieces of pottery laying on the ground. There's a bunch of ruins up here. Uh, you have to come around the side. The path leads you up the side. And this is kind of like Agua Fria. If you have been out to Agua Fria, this is kind of what this is like. They haven't excavated it. They haven't done any archeological work. So you have all the ruins that are just like they are at Agua Fria. They're under the brush here, the original foundations. But there's shards of pottery all over the place. Uh, some grinding stones up here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Wish I would have my Canon camera with me right now, but unfortunately I don't have that, so the wind. I apologize for the wind noise, guys. at the southeast base of the butte is the last of the identified courts to be constructed in the Verde Valley. The ball court is difficult to identify since today it looks more like a depression caused by erosion. <laughs> 